All right, guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about side control here, a couple submissions, things that we look for once you get on side control. So you're dealing with the guy's car, and then I find myself in side control, all right? First thing I look for here, when I, especially when I get here, I always like to have my hand around the guy's neck. You know, I don't like to get side control and be in this position, holding this way, because I feel like giving too much space to his upper body, he's able to move, you know, I feel like, if I get a hold of his head, he can't move his head, it's gonna be very hard for him to move his body. You know, like the head goes, the body follows, so try to get a hold of the head. Make a grip on the, uh, the shoulder and just keep the pressure down, all right? I always try to keep my knee here so my hand is free. I don't have to worry about him replacing the gore all the time marking with the hand, you know? So I place my knee to his hip and then I have this hand free to start working on this arm. If he does, sometimes if they, most of the time, like I'm a little bit more advanced guy, he won't be hugging you too much because it's easy for me to grab that arm, you know? Sometimes go two on one, when I have both of my arms attacking just one arm and start attacking this one, all right? So advanced guys, they stay pretty shallow here, you know, trying to push it to create some space to bring that knee in or even get the underhook. So as soon as I get here, I feel like, even if the guy has this, I try to stay low a little bit and then I start digging on the other side. So he's worrying about pushing my face away and I'm worried about this elbow not being between me and him. How do I do that? I kind of come back a little bit and try to dig with my knee under his armpit. So if I do uh, dig under his armpit, I'm good. Because now I feel like I can block his arm, all right? And I'm ready to attack here. It's gonna be harder for him to push me with one, one arm between us, which is the outside one he has here. So my favorite move here, it's here, I hold, and then I come here, and most of the time when you get a side control, they cross the finger for here and try to block so I don't step over too easily to go to the mouth. So I use that, by look, I'm holding here, I'm still putting pressure, all right? I already trapped his arm here. So I use that to push his leg to the side. He use that. They're still gonna keep this because it's too hard for me to get some space here to slide my knee across and go to the mouth. But that's what I want. I really want him to be actually defending the right way. As long as he's doing the right defense, I'm gonna be able to attack this move. So he's blocking here, he's staying tight, and I'm putting his side sideways. So he's pretty much blocked, and then I lose the whole move. So what do I do? I get here, I wait a little bit. He has the hands there. I push the knee sideways, and I'm gonna try to swing my leg over and place it right here. But as I do this, I try to sit on him. All right, I can't do that and miss him so he doesn't turn. So I gotta sit right on him. So I'm holding, I go up a little bit, swing my leg over and sit right on him. All right, not here, because if I do here, I'm already turning at too much space. So I sit right on him, lay my leg sideways, but I have the arm trapped, all right? Right on top of his forearm, that's what I want. Now, instead of going for the arm and falling on my back, you know, leaning back, I'm gonna bring my knee high, 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 and I, well, my toes are on the floor, but my knee's high. All I have to do now is trap his arm here and close my knees together. My foot's behind his head. It's definitely enough pressure to finish, but some people feel more comfortable passing the leg over. And now I push my hip to the arm bar. That's my main move when I get on side control. That's what I'm thinking. Trapping that arm, because if you do have both arms like this, it is like very hard for you to move and he, anything you do that you give too much space, he push with both hands. You know, he has the leverage to replace. So I do feel like, okay, this one, he might be able to stop, but I bring my knee, when I, I'm here, I bring my knee and I dig under the armpit. Sometimes his hand is too trapped here. I start moving here and then I lock the arm, you know? And now I feel like just one hand won't be enough to push me off. I might be able to take this. So he's locking, lock, lock there. Here, I push, and he's defending the right way. See, he's nice and tight here. He's not gonna give me any space. That's what I want. As I push, I go up, swing my leg over, and sit right on top of him, right on top. See, I'm creating this angle here, all right? I'm with the arm, all right? I'm not turning away from, from him, and I'm not giving my back too much. I'm right here, facing this way. Bring my knee up, squeeze the knees together is the main thing, all right? I'm sitting right on top of him. Squeeze my knees, if my knees are open like this, I got no pressure, I gotta lock him. And if I fall back, I should have the arm. But most of the time I wanna fall forward, all right? 
<laughs> That's one thing. A couple other things that can happen here. What's the downside in this position? If I'm here, okay, and I do get everything right, turn them. Once I swing my leg over, all right, have the arm, I can't turn too much. I gotta be on this angle. All right, bringing his arm with me, it's too long. If I'm here and I try to pass my leg over, he comes on top. I won't have any balance. So that's the thing you gotta pay attention when you get here. The most important thing, if I get this far and I trap him all the way here, bah, okay, I gotta lean this way and swing my leg over the top here, locking my foot behind his head, as long as I squeeze my knees together, okay? Some people get here, and they try to turn, and then I will have this to pass my leg over, he comes on top, all right? So that angle is very important, you gotta turn him. Other thing that he opens up a little bit when you cycle drill, I like to look for a simple choke, most of the time, Sometimes if he's definitely like, you know, very, you not finding any space, it's very hard for me to push him and get in a, in a key lock here if he's really holding. I'm gonna start giving him space for him to like move so I can bait him on him. So I get here and I feel like, oh, he's, you know, not moving, not trying to escape. He's probably just waiting for me to move. Then I move, you know, but I move know what I'm doing. I always go towards the head. As soon as you go towards the head, people right away, they hug you somehow here and try to push you. And most of the time, they hug your body, you know? Which is a simple, mis uh, very common mistake when people hug your body on this side, you know? So as soon as I feel like he's hugging my body, he's under my armpit, I go to the same side and then I trap the arm the other way. Now I reach under and grab right under his collar. And that arm is trapped too, see? I trapped the arm. And now that I did that, I was here. North, south, I trap the arm that he put under my armpit. I come here, not here. Because when I do this, he sees it and he's gonna grab. You no, know? so everything when I get here, I feel like yes, yes, I'm laying on top of him. I might as well just do everything without him seeing, you know? Very tight. I do this, he sees it. He sees my elbow, he's gonna grab. And he's gonna give me a hard time here. You know, he's stronger than I am, and he might be able to break here, I gotta go back, and now he knows. So once I get here, we call the shave move. I shave. Or if I have a really good grip, I just grab it right here on the, the wrinkle of the gi. All right? And now, the main thing to finish this choke, I'm going to turn and push this down and stay on him. He's going to turn his face towards me to try to relieve the pressure a little bit. I got to keep him on the mat as I'm going down. And if I feel like it's not enough, I sprawl on it, but I stay on top of me. Not here. You know, if I do it here, he's going to get on top. I got to be right on top of his neck. I'm putting pressure here, and then I sprawl my body. And I stay on top. And that will be enough pressure to finish. All right, so those are like my favorite setups in, you know, cycle choke. As soon as you get there, you try to trap their arm, maybe for a choke, or maybe for the arm bar. All right, as well as trying to always like fake like you're trying to go to the mouth, because you'll make him move a little bit. All right, guys? Well, I hope that helps you for your next training session. See you next time.